What's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Amaya Desire, and I am back with another review for Big Go Bell Media, P-Valley Season 2. So y'all already know, June 3rd, where I'ma be, down in the valley where the girls get naked, right? We are excited. There's so much happening. I am going to do a non-spoiler review for you guys, episodes 1 through 5. Um, we have a lot happening in this season. I love the videography, the cinematography. Of course, we're going to go into the actors and the actresses. We have a lot happening, right? So let's start it off. So we have Autumn and Dre, right? Um, of course, Autumn was in her bag last season. She went, she bought the pink bag. You know what I'm saying? She's in here. She's bossing up. She is bossing up, honey. Okay. For real, for real this season. She's definitely making some moves that could be looked at as a little snaky, but I'll let you guys figure it out for yourself. Dre went back home to his wife, right? And now he is trying to figure out life through the pandemic just like everybody else is and um he also makes it back to chuck elisa for some unforeseen circumstances so dre is definitely going to be in chuck elisa a lot more um of course the dynamic between autumn and dre has always been super super like high tension right because we know that there's this unspoken yearn that they have for each other that they just haven't touched and i'm hoping that in season two that they do but i ain't no home record though i'm not gonna condone it so we won't have them just be friends for right now but if something happens I ain't mad at it, okay? All right, so, you know, Uncle Clifford doing what Uncle Clifford does best. And apparently him and Lil Murder, you know, that ain't what it was the last time we left off in season one. So I'm excited to see what will come to be between them. But right now, you know, it ain't what we think it is. They ain't really speaking like that. And we trying to figure out what's happening with this love story because I was here for it. I want to see all of Lil Clifford and Lil Murder. Uncle Clifford and Lil Murder. You know, of course, you know, last time we saw Lil Murder and Keyshawn, they had the pop-in video, the song, and went viral. They were all over the internet. Of course, doing what most people do, they're trying to capitalize off of the hype that they have right now. So we see them get together. Um, of course, that didn't go as smoothly as they wanted to. You know, even Keyshawn having to maneuver some things and get out of some situations in order to even do the tour. And Little Murder, of course, being like, yo, like, I need to do this because I need to get out. And you see him, you know, still living that Chuck Elisa life. And we're thinking, oh, damn, I thought he made some money, but guess not. Um, so there's a lot of that. So we get, we get Little Murder doing his thing, of course, rapping and uh, hitting the club and whatnot. And, of course, Keyshawn is by his side and bringing the crowd to life i'm here for it okay i'm always gonna be here for miss mississippi because she is that chick okay so love it we of course speaking of mississippi we got some interesting um pop-ups some visits cameos by some people that we could probably say mm, kind of seen that coming but not really and I'm going to just leave it on the maybe she should stick to doing cameos and stop trying to rap. I'm going to leave that there for y'all. A little gem. Y'all figure it out. Okay. And of course, we're going to go and swing over to uh, Mercedes. Miss Mercedes. And of course, um, last season we had her doing the gym. You know, she got the gym. She was really looking forward to life um starting not fresh but just starting a different life for herself and in this season we see her tap into some other instincts that weren't there previously we see her taking up some offers that we did not think she would have and that goes a little left um in a good way though it's very interesting the dynamic that's happening so you all will see what i'm talking about um of course she still don't take no shit mercedes is about saving the pink and making sure that the pink is taken care of uncle clifford and so you know she and autumn are Mm, you know they they cool but they ain't cool you know how you be fighting with somebody and you got like that underline and stuff that be sitting around but then you know it it's okay the next day that's kind of how they are they're like almost like siblings like one minute they're good the next minute they're like uh oh you got to get your shit and go so we shall see how that goes but mercedes is um 
definitely doing some things differently this season. I'm excited to see how her character plays things out and um, and also just how she grows this season. You know what I mean? Um, so, of course, like I said, uh, Uncle Clifford doing everything that he can to make sure that the pink stays afloat because uh, Autumn did buy it last season. And, you know, of course, the pandemic, everything took a hit. So you got to improvise, honey. And let me tell you, episode one is probably my favorite episode. And I need y'all to come back here and tell me how y'all feel about it because I loved it. I, I love every bit of it from beginning to end. I'm going to watch it again when it's released come June 3rd. I am excited, okay? Ready to go. I'm ready to get up on a poem myself but let me tell you this season I definitely like the way that they show on the girls off because this is such a, a real like beautiful moment to see the bodies in this light not sexually but in a very elegant more um dynamic sensual way but i'm i'm me so y'all i don't know how y'all gonna feel but we'll see i'll i'll, I'll look at y'all comments when y'all do comment um of course Keyshawn. last we left off you know she was still in the abusive relationship with derek and she was getting ready to capitalize off the little murder situation right and um you know, that situation is still here. We want the best for Kishan, of course, everybody does. Um, and uh, we will see the dynamic shift. We'll see some things from the past. And I'm, in, I'm excited to see um, just how they give us her, you know, just how they show us who she is. And so I'm excited for that. And um, of course, you know, she had Rome, which was... Um, Oh, which is her guy, right? Her producer, her manager. There we go, manager. And so Rome is being Rome and doing Rome shit and being annoying. So uh, yeah, you know, that ain't never stopping. Of course, Woldy is um, still managing Little Murder and or just being by his side, being very supportive. We see a lot of different storylines pop up. We see a lot of the, the old storylines get very detailed and I really like that I'm enjoying the fact that they're diving deep that they're giving us more than what we have seen in season one and that everybody is kind of coming into their own personalities their own um their lanes essentially and so in season two we get to the nitty-gritty you know of course we left off we don't know what happened when Uncle Clifford Mercedes and Autumn was in the um I know it ain't the champagne room, but I'm gonna call it the champagne room because child, I don't remember what it is. But um, you know, we know that he they they have their own little bomb because we don't really know what happened in there. You know what I mean? We just speculate and so we're gonna see a little something something come season two, and I'm excited for it. And so speaking of autumn, you know, she done bossed up, you know, she um is doing some things, but she also is the whole thing with Dre is like, you know, where, where are they at? How are they doing? So everybody is getting a different lane, a different avenue. All of the main characters are, we're getting to see them in a different light. We're getting to know them more. We're getting deeper with them. Um, and then the new characters that they introduce or are not really new, but the people that they bring in and that we talk about a little bit more that's also amazing of course you know diamond we know what happened after um that night at the pink when he got into with mississippi and Derek. so you know we get to see him tell us kind of his side of the story and um just just everybody you know uncle clifford little murder autumn mississippi mercedes dre um, you know, we got, we got the whole dynamic of the pink shifting, you know, what are they going to do now that we're in a pandemic and maybe the pandemic is over, maybe it's not, what are they going to do to make sure that the pink stays afloat? Okay. And how is everybody going to not survive, but thrive after the pandemic and where will they be? Who will be with who and who won't be with who and who ain't going to be alive Cause woo child, it's a, it's a few people dropping on us, on us. Okay, so I'm excited. Season two, P Valley on Stars, June third. Make sure that you come back and tell me your thoughts. What you will, you know, what you're liking so far. What you want more of. 
And you know, oh, and let's not forget Uncle Clifford's outfits because honey, okay, every last one of them is fire and we would expect nothing less from Uncle Clifford. So until next time, y'all, be sure to check out the channel. We will be back with full reviews, interviews, okay? We got it going on and popping. And if I had a little bit more rumping where I want rump, I would be on somebody's pole at the at the pink suit. But until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.